Borussia Dortmund haven't won a Bundesliga title since 2011 and it's time to make a change. Our job in this series is to make them better than Bayern Munich and take them back to the levels they once were. Yes boys, welcome to episode 1 of the Dortmund career mode and if you're excited for this series drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here. Now let's get started with this series by taking a look at the squad. Now I have decided to switch to a 3-4-2-1 formation as I think Dortmund are more suited to playing a 3-back formation. I just think the squad suits this a bit better and it's always fun to try a 3-back formation. Now um, I have gone and sorted out what the squad I think is going to look like and the main signings I want are, um, Bra are a centre mid and a right mid probably and probably a centre back as well and um so yeah and so i've switched it to a formation with two center forwards so i'm going to be converting marlon to a center forward royce to a center forward guero to a left mid and i'm also going to be converting players like rainer and rainier to center forwards so they can help out with this um formation a bit more um i'm probably going to be playing chan just in that midfield role because i think he suits that well he's really well rounded he can sort of be like a defensive alternative to bellingham who's more of an attacking midfielder um so yeah we have a pretty good squad i have gone on and loan listed players like mukoko and collins who are sort of just not quite yet ready for the starting 11 but i think if we go and give them some game time they'll be able to grow up to grow and be valuable members to the squad as you can see here guys i've gone and transfer listed a few players i don't really think fit into my game plan like brand and a few older players like munia and berkey as i just spoke about we're going to loan out players like mukoko and collins to help them grow better and possibly get a starting 11 place and no guys your eyes aren't deceiving you because i have decided to transfer list Erling erling harland and as you guys probably know he is on his way to manchester city in real life for a surprising three of 63 million um and so yeah to spice up this career mode a little bit i wanted to um transfer list erling harland see if we can find a good replacement for him hopefully we can that can generate us a bit of cash for a really good replacement and so yeah this series with dortmund is sort of going to be like trying to find trying to see if dortmund could flourish after selling harland so it's sort of like a life after harland series for dortmund and as i said this main thing signings i want to make are probably um, a right mid, a centre back and possibly even a striker now if Harlan goes and as you can see here I have um, sort of got a few players on my shortlist that I'm thinking about bringing in for that centre back position which I think I'm going to make that signing this episode and then next episode we might make the right mid signing depending on if you guys leave some suggestions so I think we'll definitely make the centre back signing this episode and then possibly the right mid signing next episode so here I have Diego Carlos, who we are scouting a bit further. I think he's a solid centre-back. He's currently 28, so he's in his prime. Probably give us a f good two or three seasons. We've got Niklas Sule, who is obviously joining Dortmund in real life and who I thought could be a really solid option. And his contract is expiring, so we would be able to pick him up for a pretty good fee, around $40 million. And then we've got Tapsoba, who's the youngest out of all of them, who's uh, like a wonder kid. And uh, he's probably a solid option as well, but I'll just see when the scouting reports come back. Okay, guys, so I have managed to eliminate it down to two centre-backs that we might possibly sign. I didn't really want to sign Diego Carlos, as he was sort of like older than the other two, and I didn't really like his stats spread, so yeah, we're just not going to sign him. Now we have the choice between Sule and Tapsoba. Now Sule is obviously joining Dortmund in real life. He's higher rated, um, is more established. But then we've got Tapsoba, who's more of a wonder kid, has more potential, but is obviously lower rated and less established. But um, yeah, it's going to be a tough decision. But I think the player I'm going to go for is Tapsoba, because I just think we can grow him a bit more. He's a pretty fast centre back, and he's um like more agile and just better at dribbling which i think is what we really sort of need at um at dortmund because we're playing a three back formation so i just think it'll be better if we have center backs who are good at playing out from the back so yeah let's just go in for him
Okay, first up, I'm just gonna offer straight on his value, see what they say. Okay, just his value, they want 45. How about we'll go 32.5, let's say. Let's see. They still want that 45. Okay, so um, what about 37.6? about that so I want 45 okay this is tough now I'm not sure I mentioned this before but we did actually get an offer for Munier Thomas Munier and I did let him go so that's yeah Thomas Munier is now gone it was about 12 million for him okay so now we're on to the negotiations with Tab Sober they accepted that 42 offer I think okay let's go Bunt squad roll, sure. Um, contract, four years. Yep, all good to me. No release clause, fine. Um, that looks all good to me. Let's remove that bonus. 38, fine. There we go, Tap Sober signed. Okay, so here we go, boys. Tap Sober brought in. He has pretty good stats all around the board, and I really think he'll help us. Okay guys, I've got an interesting offer here for Julian Brandt, and I don't really think I want Naby Keita, so I am just going to negotiate with Liverpool to see if we can just get outright cash for Brandt. Okay, so, um, we'll remove Explange Player, and let's see what they say about 37.6. Okay, there we go. Liverpool accept 30 million, 37.6. Okay, I just converted Daniel Marlin to a centre forward and he's gone up two overall already, straight to 81. I'll just tuck, chuck a development plan on him. Now guys, before I forget, one signing I definitely want to make is I think we definitely need to make this um, Rainier loan, loan deal a permanent thing. We need to get him permanently at the club because I think he's a really good... Um, just player to have in the squad he's a nice wonder kid he can compliment Rainer in upcoming him and Rainer can fight for that Roy spot so let's see let three million is our first offer they went three million plus a nine percent sell on clause and yeah I think I'll just submit that because probably won't sign sell him in the next few years so negotiate with him see what he says Okay, so squad roll, I think rotation. Yep, rotation. Um, four year contract, sure, to 23. I don't think we want a release clause. There we go. That wage looks pretty decent. Just remove the bonus. There we go. Now, we have got a pretty interesting offer here for Marco Royce. Um, we're, we're probably at the point in the career where we, this is probably the only time when we will be able to get offers like 40 million for Marco Royce. But I just think Marco Royce is too big of a club legend to let go so early in the career mode. I just think he'll probably be able to give us a season or two at the club and hopefully be able to stick here to the end. Now, Hummels is a player that I'm willing to consider letting go. But again, I just think too early to be letting players like Hummels and Royce go because they're still going to put in a shift for us. I think the only um, possible circumstance that I'd let them go is if they really start dipping quickly, but looks like they're standing at their overalls, so I think definitely we don't want to let them go just yet. Oh my goodness, boys. It's happened. We've got an offer for Haaland, and how fitting of it to be coming from Manchester City, the club he might be joining in real life. Now, they have offered us a swap deal, including Jack Grealish and 59 million, but I just don't think um, I want Jack Grealish for this club. He doesn't really fit our formation. So, I'm uh, same with Brandt. I'm definitely going to go in and um, see if we can get all the cash, just playing out cash for Haaland. I'm going to remove the exchange player, and my first offer is just going to be... This might be a bit risky, but I'm... My first offer is straight up just going to be 200 million. What are they going to say? They want 62 plus Mares. Now, as I said, I don't want any um, swap deals. Pep looks like he's not budging here. Just wants the swap deals, but he can't 
It's not gonna be able to swindle us out of any cash. 200 million? Oh no. Yeah. Didn't think that would work. Way too much for Haaland. Well, we have got two very good offers here for Berkey and Witzel, who are players I am looking to sell. I'm actually going to decline that Witzel offer because I do like having him in the club for depth. But I'm going to accept that Berkey offer. Berkey can go off to Southampton. We can just get him out of the club. I don't really want him. So, yep, yeah, that's very good business. Here we go, guys. First game of the season against Bayern Munich in the Super Cup. Um, it's probably might turn out to be one of Haaland's last games and how fitting for it to be in Der Klassiker. We can see how Tapsoba goes, we can see how this formation works, see if it works with the players we've got. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Here we go boys, Haaland kicking off against Dortmund. Let's see what can happen. Okay, Muller, we know Bayern are a dangerous club. Lewandowski plays it straight into Nabry, but... Luckily, he was offside. Oh, no, guys. Just conceded to Robert Lewandowski. Um, and that's not a very good start to the season. Okay, but we can definitely get back into it. It's only 14 minutes in, and we've definitely got the firepower. Oh, no. Sane's on a breakaway here. Got a... Oh, a Kanji. The strong challenge. Muller. Great save from Kobel. Have a chance to break away here with Bellingham. What can he do? Finds Haaland. Gives it to Rayner. Rayner's in a lot of space. Has a shot. Oh, what a goal from Rayner. Beat Neuer at the near post. And we are back into this game. Okay, Bellingham has found Guerrero here. With a cross in to Marlon. Haaland. Oh, what a shot from Haaland. Okay, Rayner brings it away. Finds Royce. Haaland. Back to Rayner. Chance to swing in across. Guerrero. What a goal. Rayner's been so good in this game. And I think this is why this formation just suits the Guerrero and Dortmund so well. And what a finish from Guerrero to be able to squeeze it in at that near post. Okay, Dortmund have a corner on the stroke of half time. Not Dortmund, Bayern. Muller, what can he do? Finds Lewandowski. Okay, but Kobe with the strong save. I don't know why I keep saying Lewandowski. Just so used to it. Bayern with another corner. Muller, header in. Kobe with another strong save. Bayern have yet another corner. But Marlon gets it. Comes back to Muller. Just yeet it, Bellingham. Okay. Half time. Pretty strong first half there, I'd say. Even though we did fall behind. It has Reyna and Guerrero have helped us get back into it. So let's go for this second half. And hopefully we can strengthen our lead even further. Kanji playing out from the back well here. What can he do? Finds Royce. Gives it to Haaland. Pays it back to Guerrero. Who has a shot. What a goal from Guerrero. A potential goal of the season contender there. With the outside of his left foot. Guerrero just absolutely hammered that. Just look at this. He just brings it inside. And boom. He scores. What a goal. Just show us the replay. That had so much curve and it just hit the top of the bar. Oh my goodness, that is a potential goal of the season contender there from Guerrero. Oh no. Bayern have a good attacking chance here, but we defend it well. Defending's been top notch this game. As but as I say that, of course as I say that. Buy an attack and score to bring it forward. Has a shot. Hits the post. That was so close. Oh, no. I could see that was going to happen. As Kimmich scores. In practically the last seconds of the game. And this. 
But, yep, the ref's going to blow his whistle. And that ensures that it's going to go to extra time. I thought we had that in the bag when we were 3-1 up. But no. Oh, no, it's going straight to penalties. Okay, let's go. Okay. Marlon to take the first pen. And place it right there. Okay, good. No, I have got to say to you guys, I'm not the best of penalties, so I will just be putting them down low. As Lewandowski has one, and Cobell with a big save. Okay. I'm just going to smash this right down the middle with Rainier. And it pays off. Okay, we're 2-0 up. Oh, Sane goes down the middle as well. Okay. Going to put one right into the bottom corner with Haaland. And it works. Let's go. Okay, Muller against Koble. Koble with the big save. Okay, if we score this, we've won. Taps over. Just going to dink it right down the middle. And we've won. Taps over. The new signing scores the winning penalty. There we go. Our first trophy of the B Borussia Dortmund career mode comes in the first game itself. Let's go. Oh, no, guys. Marco Royce is out for up to two months. So it looks like Giovanni Reina is going to be basically playing in Marco Royce's position. Even though he was playing on the right midfield last game, we are probably going to make a right mid signing. So we'll, I'll just do... I think what we'll do for now is we'll go and put Royce on the reserves for like... Let's just say Wolf... And then we'll just do this. But on a more positive note, we have got a one-year loan offer from Lille. So I'm just going to go accept that for Mukoko. And on that note, I think it's time to end the first episode. So if you guys have um, any suggestions for right midfielder signings or possibly even striker signings we can make, drop them down in the comments below. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. Every JWB, signing out.